race this should be. Kipruto, um, Consensus Kipruto, the Olympic champion, the world champion. Had a little bit of a blip in the middle part of the season, but uh, prevailed when it mattered. El Bakali, well, he's going well. The Moroccan, great run in front of his home crowd in Rabat. A season's best of 8.05. And Jaeger, Evan Jaeger, we thought when he, he was in a great position to win the world title. He got the silver medal in the Olympic Games and uh, got the silver... I was just looking at his world champ. He got the bronze, didn't he, in the London World Championships. And uh, really, he's the one that's not afraid to attack. Birech is in this race as well. Of course, he prevailed a couple of seasons ago. Kirui is there. You can see him in the middle of that uh, line of uh, athletes. Just looking down there, it's everything, everyone is here. It's a, a real talent. You've got a couple of 19-year-olds. You've got Hali Gabi Selassie, Vera Tria, only 19. World Junior Championship silver medalist last year. Bakali and Jaeger must feel they've got a chance here. And of course, when you look at Kip Ruto, he's won everything, and yet he hasn't broken eight minutes. Eight minutes is his target, certainly, and I have to say to you that they've set a target, if they go with it, of 7.55 tonight, so that is really quite something. Um, the meeting record is 7.53.63. That's Saif Said Shaheen of Qatar uh, back in 2004. It stood for a long time, but nine minutes, or rather eight minutes, is the target. If they go with the pace, there are two pacemakers. John Koech of Bahrain and uh, Haron Lagat of the United States. And they will get to the front and look at uh, Kip Ruto. Kip Ruto means business, doesn't he? Lagat trying to get in front of him to take on the pace. Jaeger moving up into that uh, third place as well. I have to say to you, this is, this is looking business-like because they've gone off very, very quickly indeed. Koic leads them and uh, Kip Ruto... Well, I can tell you that the pace is quick. We'll get some sort of indication when they come through the line. There are 28 barriers, seven water jumps for newcomers to this event. And Lagat and Koic had to really motor to get ahead of uh, the Olympic and world champion Consensus uh, Kipruto. Jaeger is there, Makali is there, Kirui is there. And uh, we'll get some idea as they're coming up to six laps to go in this uh, race. And it's very, very quick. It's about 7.57 at the moment on that sort of timing early on in the race, Tim. Well, Stuart, I was talking to Consensus Kip Ruto's agent earlier on today, and I said, what's, how's he feeling? What's he thinking about tonight? And he said, a comment from Consensus... Well, let's just look now. Just calm down a little bit here. It's slowed down a little bit. One just gets that sense, but we'll soon find out as they go through with uh, five laps to go. We're looking for about to, oh, it's slowed down. That last uh, 400 metres has slowed absolutely, well, rather, the last lap has slowed. 2.40, um, which is two seconds. It's still very, very quick indeed. It's about 7.57. They're maintaining that sort of pace, I guess. And Kip Ruto is up there. Jaeger, the American, sitting in behind him. And uh, he really is a man who will compete. Lovely technician. Bakali then in fourth place at the moment as we stand, with the pacemaker still there. 7th of August at the London Diamond League. We'll bring you that jump. Well, it's certainly round about uh, the eight-minute mark at the uh, eight-minute mark at the moment on this uh, steeplechase. So Jaeger's taking it on, tried to push it on a little bit with uh, Conselsius Kipruto in second place, as you can see. Bakali in third, Karui in fourth place. Kabeni is up in that leading group with Bakali, but Jaeger still leaves. Conselsius Kipruto in uh, second place. Bakali in uh, fourth place, and he's got a terrific finish. And uh, behind him, Karui. And uh, really, when you look at this, uh, Kabeni of the United States, he's 27. He's got an 808 in Monaco um, this year, so he's in contention as well. And Bakali now moves into third place. Bakali's a real danger here. But Jaeger, well, He's the man with the confidence, I've said it several times, he's not afraid to compete with an event, but the Kenyans have dominated this event year after year. And uh, when you... Kipruto winning that uh, world title, Bikali, of course, got the silver medal in the World Championship, so he's full of confidence, and he's in third place at the moment. 
Stuart, the reason that Evan Jager has taken the lead is because that second kilometre was slowing. It had really got a little bit languid after an opener of 240, which promised so much. That second kilometre, outside 244, they went through 2000 in 524. And we mustn't forget that Conceslos Kipruto has fabulous finishing speed. He knows, he's very confident. Talking to his agent, he says, Conceslos knows he can out-sprint anyone if it comes down to it over the last couple hundred metres. And Evan Jager here is trying to draw that sting out of his tail, the American. He's strong, Jager and has greater speed endurance, but doesn't have the same change of pace as the Kenyan in second place. No, you're quite right, and that uh, was a slow phase of the race that taken them outside eight minutes, and they really have got to be a rush on if they've got any chance of getting close to eight. But certainly Jager has established the tenor of the race. Bacali is in third place behind uh, Kitruta, then uh, you've got Kabeni of the United States, Karui up there as well, and they're well strung out once again as they come down and they'll see the bell, or they'll hear the bell, that's for sure. Bacali looking very, very strong. Kabeni then in uh, fourth place. And look at Bacali. Bacali's really going past consensus. Kip Ruta, 7.03 to go with one lap or one circuit to go. Bacali then, Bacali of Morocco takes it on. Jaeger is being run down now by consensus. Kip Ruta, Jaeger's in third place. Kabeni's in fourth place. As they go down the back straight for the last time, and that gap, well, has Kipruta got the speed, the pace, the Olympic champion, the world champion in second place? Jaeger is spent. He's way down at the moment in the final stages. He's had to let go. He took the race, tried to get it to, into a, a sub eight uh, minute territory, but hasn't managed to do that. But let's have a look at this. Macaulay and the world champion behind him, the Olympic champion, the world silver medalist in the lead at the moment with just over 100 metres to go. And Jager crashing to the ground there at the water jump. He's lost about 20 metres. Yeah, he has, but the race on now. Bacali's going to take this from Kipruto. And look at Kipruto go for the sprint, but I don't know, has he got enough? He has! Kipruto consensus. Kipruto takes it from Bacali. What a... Well, the last 50 metres, that was some race. And the time, well, 8.04. Promised far more than that. Yes, Jaeger did uh, have a problem at that last water jump. It was clearly he was uh, uh, suffering considerably in the final submit. Kubruta <laughs> did not want to go. The Olympic champion, the world champion, wanted the diamond and he's got it. That is a special quality. If you could raise your game and sprint like blazes with 50 metres to go, you're a very, very lucky athlete. I think you're born with that. I don't think you can train for that. Jager did incredibly well to get up and hang on for third place. Watch this water jump. He can't make up his mind whether to clear the barrier first without touching it or not. He never does that normally, Jager. I think he got fooled. He tried to sort of copy Kipruto in front of him and he tried to clear the barrier hurdle style without touching it and, of course, wasn't prepared for the landing. This is Bacali sprinting for the tape. Think he's got the $50,000 sorted out. No time to respond when somebody comes past you about three or four strides out. But Conceslos Kipruto looks under control here, doesn't he? He's got it in his sights. He's absolutely in charge. He knows he's got that sprint speed, and he times it absolutely perfectly. No chance to react to that. Well, I have to say, that was one of the strangest finishes I've seen. 8.04.73, personal best for Bacali, and it went just as it did in the World Championships. Wonderful finish.